All right, welcome to 8 Feet Travels, new episode, finally. Um, we've got about four days, five days in Cervantes, which is just north of Perth. Um, we're on our way up, we've just stopped at Wedge Island Lookout. Um, no tools or anything, but yeah, the van's just there. Um, what we've got planned, um, we're actually getting way today. So, you know, we've packed the van, it's currently got all the water in it. It's got extra water, it's got extra fuel. Uh, all that kind of stuff as much as we can really pack at the moment before we actually take off with this new setup um, And yeah, no, not a bad little spot to pull over And Charlotte! Yep, so Charlotte's here, Noah Jesse is in the van like making some nice lunch. That's good Hope you enjoy the episode. We'll be hitting up the pinnacles um, Probably some beach fishing got a new rod um can't wait to use the uh, induction cooker on the beach. I'm probably going to catch up with some friends, hopefully. Yep, so I hope you enjoy the episode. Stay tuned. Plenty planned. See you soon. Yep. Alright, we're waiting in the car right now. Think skinny, everybody. 80% yeah. there, right? So 80% has gone to your table. The other 20% has gone to the wheel. Oh, how good is this? Look at this. Holy moly. Just airing down. Yeah, so we're down here, um, I would call it the Hill River Beach, I suppose, but there's a pretty much a town between Cervantes and Durian Bay now, like a rural town, and you can just uh, pretty much jump on the beach and I'm um, going to get the induction cooker on soon for dinner. Who wants to watch me cast the beach? Here it is, the first fire up, inverter's on. All right, let's go round two, or we'll put that on because it's all worth knowing everything. It helps if you plug, plug it in. Let's go off, power on. Let's just do, um, 1800 and see how that goes let's go just some snags how's this Woo. whoa i've never used one of these before so if that's too high let us know but i'll probably turn it down what's this jeez laughs bloody hard isn't it <laughs>
Well, so far so good. This thing is a life changer. Uh, don't worry about bringing gas bottles. Uh, you know, you do have to pay the money to get the in, like, inverter and all that gear in, but bloody hell. Ah, this is killer. It's not rubbish, it's seaweed. That's a lot of seaweed. It is a lot of seaweed. Maybe this is where my friend got bit. Maybe. Heaps more seaweed than the other. So a bit about this coastline. Uh, there's always so much seaweed. It's Maybe that's why the crayfishing is so good. But um, yeah, there's always a lot of weed on the beaches. At some places like Durian Bay, they actually do clear it. Uh, and Lehman, they used to as well. Um, wow, the sand's so cold. It is. Good. Beautiful morning here at Cervantes. G'day. Welcome back to Cervantes. Um, we found this spot yesterday. You would have seen we did get super bogged. Um, you know, starting to learn the vehicle a bit, like what pressure's on the tyres. Um, obviously it's so boggy here because of the tide. Um, I did check tyres here, if you obviously you can see it's pretty wet where we are, but we're at the top of the high tide now, and it's on its way back out. So, always good to look at that type of stuff if you go into the beach. Um, but yeah, Hill River's just there. Like what's really cool about this spot at the top of the Hill River. Yeah. All right, look at all these shells. Oh, there's a nice one. <laughs> that wasn't planted. But yeah, um, no, nah, pretty cool spot. Make some brekkie, chill out here. Um, I've let the pressures down straight away, down to 15 today. Because um, yeah, I ended up at 10 and 8 yesterday. I was only bogged just over there. Um, I actually did get offered uh, to get pulled out by a Jeep. I, I was a jeep owner once and uh, <laughs> I was pretty bit committed to get out uh, by myself. Spend the morning here, make some brekkie in a minute. Loving that inverter, so easy. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Still got to go to the Pinnacles. My folks actually decided to come up for the night so we can go to Anzac Day dawn service in the morning. And yeah, nah, spend, the, spend the morning here. Enjoy. All right, I'm just gonna um, show you how much the uh, induction cooker's doing at the moment, just so you kind of get a bit of an understanding. So I'm on low, but just for the test, I'll turn it up to a thousand, which seems like a pretty good thing for most things we've been cooking so far. And the biggest thing, like if you know WA, it's windy as hell, so just to pull this out, chuck it in, not worry about wind. Yeah, definitely pretty stoked. But um, here we go, ready? I'll um, just film it from there. I'll go down on the Simarine. So 98.8 uh, volts at the moment, or sorry, 98 amps. So if I turn this off, oh, it's turning off now. Yeah, so six amps, and that's what it's like roughly just pulling from the fridge, depending on what temp that fridge is on and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, that's all that's on now, uh, except for the inverter, so I could probably turn that off now. Okay, I've turned the inverter off, and now it's even dropping down to four, four and a half, which is just the fridge, obviously. Um, so yeah, pretty handy. I've got the switch right there. I've got a pretty substantial extension lead, which I'll change out to a shorter one soon. It's all I had in the shed. Um, but yeah, no, it's pretty good now to tuck into some um, bacon rolls on the beach. Ah, how's the weather though? Alright, cheers for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the episode so far. And yeah, still can't wait to show you the pinnacles. We're actually going to go there at sunset. Lobster shack for lunch tomorrow. But yeah, just a day to chill around the beach. Cheers anyway, thanks for tuning in and um, enjoy the rest of the episode. 
Why? Got him. Whoa. I just wanted to um, show you all these shells. Well, one thing handy, um, having a fairly decent off-grid setup in the van as well as the caravan parks without power for about um, six hours or so now or will be six hours by the time it gets turned back on Hi. only a bit of solar coming in because we're still at 97 percent so yeah don't mind the shusha, I'm always having a nap. Everyone's chilling out. Get the fans going. Cooking a roast today, it is Sunday. Gonna do it on the Ziggy. Alright, about two hours and I should be good to go. I'll show you the results. Now I was trying to catch some fish. Daddy accidentally um, forgot the tangle and uh, we dropped we back down? the oh. fishy. Wait. And we don't have I have a fish to pull my wood anymore. Daddy's going to fix it. Then let's get a watch from Noah. What are you guys doing? We're fishing. Go fish, Noah. Mommy, we can flip it over. Well, the weather has absolutely turned in. Uh, so Vanjies, and as you said yesterday, um, I mentioned that we've got no power, and this power is still out. Um, so the power's out due to a fire east of here, and there's really, no, at the moment, no restoration time. Quick, I caught something back. Let's Have go. fun, guys. The berg. Let's go get those two kids. We're having a ride. Only on the track. Getting wet. Oh, we love it. Into the pool. What Daddy has not doing at all. Can you feel me? Huh? Can you feel me? Yeah. Can you feel the park? There's a park. It's all very wet. Really wet. It's been raining here. I thought it wasn't going to rain, but that was what happened. Can you feel the pool? Pardon? Can you feel the pool? This is a pool. We went in it uh, two days ago. Um, we went in it two days ago and whatever is. Yeah. It's gone. That's where we could eat, play games. It is cool. Ready, set, go! Charlotte's the winner! <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> Across the finish line, Daddy. Oh, yay. <laughs> uh, a little bit of an overcast day, ready for the win?
windy. Finally got some sunshine. So trying to get the battery back to 100% as quickly as possible. Try and keep out this wind. So I have an AllSpark 200 watt um, portable blanket. It runs to there. So it feeds the van. And then we actually have um, 400 on the roof as well. Three 150 watt uh, lightweight panels. And I'm currently getting about 16.5 amps in and it should be recharged back to 100% in about uh, seven hours it says. So we probably won't get 100% tonight, um, but we'll get pretty close anyway. But yeah, um, we're at about 48%. It's so fresh at that place. Um, we check out tomorrow heading home. Um, but yeah, just gonna go up to the pinnacles now. Hopefully we can get in. We did try and call to see if it was open, but we'll find out. See you at the pinnacles. Here we are at the pinnacles. Let's pop Nan in the van. It's probably to show you the real things of uh, having a two-year-old. That's why uh, we are probably waiting until no is <laughs> nappy train. Oh, Rudy Tooty. Oh, poo wee. It's got some crazy poos at the moment.
G'day, we've just stopped in Lancelin, quick feed at the bakery um, before we head home. And yeah, no, great trip. What was your highlight, Charlotte? What was, did you like the best? Nothing. Once again, Charlotte's upset because she's left her friends away at the caravan park. Dora at Pinnacles. What are all those shells? What about getting swimming with Mizey and Lucy? Not what I have. What about you, Noah? What was your best part? Oh, that's... No? What about you, babe? Um, I like... The beach was pretty cool at night, like at sunset, with like um, Sally and Grant, they came mm. up. Um, that was really cool, and then probably looking at all the shell the beaches were quite, yeah, beaches, I'd say. Beaches were my highlight. Yeah, so we stayed at Cervantes uh, Caravan Park. Uh, it's an RAC, 85 bucks a night, so yeah, it's definitely getting pricey, but the facilities are really nice, they've all done them up, uh, similar to most like RACs that they're really doing up at the moment. It's got a nice pool that's heated as well. Um, a little playground and there's also a nice little playground on the foreshore um, and yeah like if you are staying at Cervantes it's a really cool spot if you want to um, go up to Hill River um, just be mindful it is super boggy uh, and go in there's like a little town between Cervantes and Durian Bay I'll chuck it up on the map here um, and you can enter the beach there that you can that's where we met up with Sal and Grant that was good and then um, but if you follow just the the four drive tracks through um, to Hill River it's actually pretty hard there couple of sand dunes to like a couple of dunes to like Mama. go over and then um you can Mama. stop at hill river you can probably put a sup in if you Mama. want on hill river there was like fish and and yeah there was like all those shells Mama. on the beach so that's my recommendation to where to go um yeah well i hope you enjoyed the episode of cervantes um and yeah if you got any questions shoot them below in the comments or so hit us up on social media on instagram facebook and yeah do you want to say anything to charlotte my favourite bit was swimming in the pool with this. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. We had a lot of fun in the pool. We didn't really film because there was like a lot of people around the pool and, and stuff. No, Billy. But, yeah. All right. We'll see you next time. Catch up.